Hello, everyone. Hi. I was getting stuff together and I was just like, oh, oops, timer went up. Hi, everyone. Okay, let's go ahead and scroll on up. We have got some cool stuff going on tonight. All right, so we have Ariane, hello. Mandy, hello. Daniela, hello. Hello, JD. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Melissa. Let's see, who else do we have? Fabiana, hello, Fabiana. And Aspie, wait, did I already say Aspie? I don't think so. No. Hi, Aspie. <laughs> Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. Let's see. Teresa. Hello. Let's see. Ooh, ooh, they pop down. Let's see. Rebecca. And I think that is everyone so far. All right. So we have a little bit different of a night today. But before we get into, let's see. Can I? There we go. Before we get into this little number here, I wanted to show you something else that came in the mail today. I put it um, on my Insta stories. Hang on, I don't drop anything here. Um, I put it on my Insta stories and actually it was kind of exciting. Uh, Arteza, hang on, I'm trying to situate stuff here. Uh, Arteza actually reshared my post. It wasn't anything special, but they did reshare. Hi, Sarah. Hi, Sherry. Uh, they reshared my post about how I was excited about these. Now, they're like, oh, great. It's more Everblend markers. But these, these, my friends, are different. These are... Ba -da -da -da. Can anybody see what that says? Hold on. Might not be able to. Too dark. <gasps> that magical word. Brush nib. Hi, Teresa. It's a brush nib. For Artisa! Artisa never has brush nibs. They are brand new. So brand new, in fact, that I have not even opened the plastic. Now, as much as I would like to use these for a project tonight, because tonight is a markers night. Now, keep in mind, we're just doing this once. We are not going to do a, a color along with it. I'm going to color the rest of it uh, off stream, but I wanted to share it with you all. Um, but I haven't done the review for these yet, so I don't want to bust into them quite yet. But review coming for these. I know there were a number of you that were curious and excited, as am I, because hello, brush nibs. It's about time. I've always said that if Arteza got brush nibs, they may rival uh, Copics, but we'll sh we shall see. As far as what markers we're using tonight, my main markers will be the Copics. This is what I have of them. Um, but I also have my other Arteza Everblends out in case for some reason there is a color I really want that I do not have here. Because as you can see, I've got I've got a few. Not a giant, not a giant group, um, but I do have a few. So. We shall see how it works. Oh, I love all the love and chat. If I missed anyone coming in, I apologize. But let's get right to the main attraction. So obviously the original plan was the Anne of Green Gables. Oh, awesome, Evelyn. Uh, the Anne of Green Gables page. Hi, Tammy. Sounds good. The Anne of Green Cables page that we have been working on, but we had something super fun come in the mail, and it is da 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 our coloring lamp. And by our, I mean literally our, because I was lucky enough to collaborate with. <laughs> I saw Tammy say woohoo on the lap, and instead of with, I almost said woohoo. <laughs> Um, hi, Steve. Um, I was lucky enough to be able to collaborate with them, and I was able to create my own drawing pages that will go with uh hi marilyn hi roslyn uh thanks lisa um that will go with it so as you can see it is uh changing color so here's the thing it's what i have here this is actually just a prototype and more information about the kickstarter and the release and everything is in hold on hold on in the description below right down there <laughs> um but the idea behind it is the top may change a little bit. Um, there's going to be some white magnets. Um, right now, the color changing that I have is uh, controlled by Tandy Dandy Remote. But when the final lamp comes out, it, it will actually be, uh, the plan is it will be um, controlled by an app on your phone. So that's super cool. So if you're looking for more information about this, it's all in the description below. But here's the fun thing. 
you know, I've been looking at it. Hi, Graziella. Um, I've been looking at it, you know, and, and looking at all the posts that the coloring lamp has put up. You know, I've seen pictures of my colored lamp and I really didn't, I mean, I kind of got a sense of the size and also because I was given the dimensions. So I kind of knew, but then when I finally had it put together, I was like, holy heck. So, I mean, this is the size of my hand here. Let's grab, let's grab worlds of wonder here. Okay. For size comparison, this is like, it's like 18 inches tall. It is large, it's large and it's beautiful and I love it. So I designed two pages. Um, I designed this page that you see here. I haven't put the other one in the fit yet because I knew I wanted to color it tonight. So let me grab this here. I'll flip over the camera here in just a second. Um, so I did two. The first one that I did was actually this one here, that's a little bit bright. Um, now, unfortunately, because I have a tripod, I can't zoom completely out on this. So I'm gonna kind of give you a little, a little ride here, okay? So this blank area here is where the top of the lid uh, of the lamp sits. So um, I grew up uh, on the Oregon coast, it's always had a special place in my heart. So I was just like, well, there was no question in my mind that I wanted to do a seascape of sorts. So I love the tide pools in Oregon and everything. And so that is what I based this off of. So we got some boats, some seals, some little crabs. We've got some starfish. We've got some anemones. We've got some shells, tiny little octopus. Cause if you've been to any of the tide pools, there's usually a teeny tiny little octopus that's hiding under a rock somewhere. Crabs, more seaweeds, sand dollars. It may not all be, you know, realistically accurate on the placement, but I wanted to try and uh, fit it all in. So this is, we're gonna work a little bit on this night, but I mean, you can see here are my hands. This page is huge. Uh, Dee Dee Willingham also uh, colored uh, one of the lamps. So if you want to see some of the other designs, she did that. Also, exclamation point lamp in chat, and that will give you the link to the coloring lamps Instagram. Hello, Teresa. Awesome. <laughs> well, you know, it's just, we'll, we'll see. I'm a little anxious myself because it's a little bit different because I can't just go reprint another copy. Um, thanks, Shannon. So that's his link to what happened to Tanya. I don't know. She just said that uh, that she have. Yeah, I know, Mandy. She's probably fine. If there was any serious anything serious that we needed to know, I'm sure we would. She's fine. You know, sometimes you know it's just a headache, or sometimes you're just tired, or sometimes there's family stuff. There's there's a million reasons, and and I'm I'm not concerned. I'm sure she is just fine. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah. So coastal scene. The next one, of course is this one here. Now I know we've got a little bit of a glare, so it's kind of hard to see, but this one was, um, yeah, exactly Marilyn, since I can't reprint. So, you know, I'll color, I'll color, you know, we're gonna color on stream tonight and then I'll sort of take my time. Um, but this one, so I did, you know, I did the, I did the scene. I did the scene here and so I was just like, okay, for the next one, I want to do something that is actually like in a lamp style. So I did a lot of like kind of research. Um, uh, my sister, my sister absolutely loves like a lot of um, modern stuff. She loves retro stuff, like that kind of stuff. And so I got started thinking about that because my oldest sister is incredibly stylish. Like I wish I had her wardrobe. Like she's, she's one of those women that like, I don't know, somehow she just always looks fabulous. And I'm just like, like, can I have your hand-me-downs? Which she usually does oblige. So I have a number of items in my closet that she has uh, shared with me. But anyway, the whole point of that is I was doing research on those kinds of style lamps, you know, thinking like, would, would this be something my sister would have in her house? Hi, Mona. Now, granted, my sister's more modern and more simple rather than like floral and kind of frilly, but that's also me. So. We have three Sarahs in the stream, oh goodness. Hi, other Sarahs. <laughs> so I wanted to add a little bit of me, but I also wanted to add a little bit of, you know, that kind of um, retro kind of thing. So what I did is I styled this one after like, um, like macrame style, if that makes sense. And then I have the individual different mandalas on top, and then we've got the birds and there's butterflies because I wanted there to be, you know, enough stuff um, for choices for coloring and everything. So. That's what that one is styled off of. So I popped this one in the lamp so we could see what it looks like. And then tonight we're gonna go ahead and color some of this. I mean, I'm so, the size of this, the pure size of this, like it's just, 
<laughs> oh, there you go, Sarah. Well, maybe there's an H in your middle name. So the next question is, where do we start? Now, just for the sake of the stream, because I think it would be a little inconvenient with the tripod for me to start over here. So thanks, Melissa. So I think we'll definitely start in the middle of here. We could do the octopus, but I kind of want to start out slow. So what I'm thinking, because I've got some orange, I also have an extra sheet of paper here because to be perfectly honest, I haven't used my Copics in a little bit. So I haven't swatched all of the new ones that I have. So I've got this little extra um, sheet of paper here and we're gonna test our colors a little bit before I put them on here. I'm so nervous. Plus I'm also so nervous to like start in the middle, like what's gonna be on the front of it. Like I don't wanna mess it up, but it's okay. We're gonna go slow. We're gonna test it out. Um, I spoke with Ethan who, uh, who is uh, you know running uh, the coloring lamp and he's kind of like the main the main guy and I did ask him about pencils and he says the paper doesn't take to pencils very well but they are working on a pencil option paper also it's super fun I put this on rotating colors but it also has like more I don't know if the app will have this but mine does <laughs> And this one's got a little bit more there. And then you can individually choose, like you have just white. Here, I'll move this real quick. White, we got dark blue, blue. So what I did for this little uh, thing up, uh, where is it? Well, the little, the little video I posted on Instagram and everything, um, I actually took pictures of each of these because the video was like catching flickering in the light for some reason. And, uh, it's like the cartoon recess with the Ashleys. That's right, exactly, Deborah. Except all the Sarahs. Um, anyway, so, but there's a bunch of different lights. I have it, I've been holding it kind of on the rotating color and on white. There's also brightness here. It can go much brighter, but then you can't see. So I have it on the lowest brightness setting. Um, but uh, it does so many lighty things. There is one that's like a strobe, but I don't want anyone to have a seizure, so I'm not clicking that one. <laughs> I'm not epileptic, and I even was like, oh, dear God. <laughs> but anyway, I'll be curious to see how it changes when um, we have color on it. So that's that, and it's super fun. All right, so we have got our little sheet of paper here. Whew. What do you say we just dive in and we just start with the starfish? We're just, we're gonna be brave. We're gonna put ink to paper and we're just, we're just gonna do it. Okay, wait, I think the paper will sit more comfortably if we do this starfish here. All right. Okay. Had a Tara and a Kara and also in our class, three names to our teacher, crazy. that's hilarious. Started girls club, the era club. Okay. Is that as light as it's gonna go? Feel like, hang on. <laughs> Oh, Evelyn, thank you. You are, truly you are so sweet. There we go. Hang on. We get some hypes in chat for Evelyn here. I love the lamp, I know, right? Exclamation point. Why is this? This never types the first time I try. Exclamation point. Hi, there we go. Thank you, Evelyn. Or you can use you can use the handy dandy hype emotes. There we go. Dive in feet first. I know, right? We just, I'm, I'm hesitant, but we just, we just, we're just gonna have to, just gonna have to do it. <laughs> Honestly, like with how much Steve loves um, the kind of humor of like The Office and Anchorman, I am really surprised he has yet to make a joke of I love lamp. I feel like I should make the joke of I love lamp because I do love the lamp. I mean, look how pretty it is. It is honestly like we're gonna, you know, we're moving in a couple months and I'm gonna have a new office. This is going to look so nice in the office. I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, I saw that Evelyn. So are you gonna be, uh, I mean, I haven't looked at your channel in a little bit. Are you gonna be adding more to your channel? Okay, so here's what we're gonna grab. I'm gonna grab all my oranges and such. I did a refill today on, what was it? Pale fruit pink, but, all right, let's see, we've got pale yellow. Okay, I think those are good. Now, even though I had this paper, I don't wanna test my colors on top of that because knowing me, or we can stall longer, whichever. <laughs> hey, there was a lot to talk about. I know right now, I'm, I'm, I'm nervous, I'm nervous. 
All right, so let's see. We've got pinkish vanilla. Is that what that says? Yeah, pinkish vanilla R01. We are using Copics, Julie. So these sheets are gonna be much more friendly to um, Copic markers. Oh, look, now you guys can see me working. Maybe I should leave the camera there so you guys can see what pencils and stuff I have there. I don't know. I moved it over specifically so you could see the lamp. But here, you guys can see me. That's, well, I guess you can't see the paper, but. <laughs> All right, that's the yellow. Let's see. This is Cotton Pearl. That one's definitely more orangey than the pinkish vanilla. Go figure. Oh, awesome. Oh, Evelyn, you should so stream. That'd be awesome. Okay, this is the Pale Fruit Pink. I think I'm feeling the Cotton Pearl over the Pale Fruit Pink. We're gonna put that there. And then obviously we've got the orange which is orange, YR68, which is so dark in comparison. I feel like I should try and grab a pink, something in between. Um, that one is pale yellow Y11. I do have the Artezas, but I'm hesitant to use them only because I don't know how they work with each other. Okay, we've got these pinks too. Um. I want to say the number to do streams from your computer is pretty low. I want to say you have to have a, what is it? A thousand subscribers for mobile? That doesn't seem right though. Is it 300? I can't remember, but there is a certain amount. I know for sure for mobile. I know for sure for mobile. Okay, let's try, let's see what T Rose looks like. Oh, T Rose is nice. Okay, that may be, that may be what we need here. I'm just trying to, you know, take it slow. I don't want to just dive in and have it be a disaster. It used to be 1K. What is it now? 1K for mobile or 1K for desktop? Okay. So here are the colors that I was swatching out. So this is a little bit more pinkish. This is going to be our friendly bridge color for this. We're going to have to be real careful with this orange color. So this is orange YR68. For mobile, okay. And then T Rose was the slightly darker one. And then, what was this? Cotton Pearl. And then I think Pale Lemon. I think these are gonna be our colors, okay? So, get this in focus here. All right, so if I had, if I had another lighter orange, if I had another lighter orange, I would put that between T rows, but we're gonna make it work. Oh, nice, Evelyn. Oh, interesting. Okay, Shannon. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with it because I didn't start streaming until after I had posted videos for a while. Um, and so I had already bypassed all of that. Uh, I haven't muted. Are we good? It might be a little bit quieter today, just a smidge because I lifted up the mic because if I lowered it, it'd be right in the way of the lamp. So I definitely had to rearrange things a little bit. Okay, so let's move these out of the way. Okay. Whew, that's the hope, Deborah. That's the hope. There we go. All right, we're clear. Okay, so the next question is how much do I want to form around this? Okay, we are not going to start with the orange. As loud as always. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I don't know how I like that phrasing, Shannon. Are you saying I'm loud? You lost sound and got fuzzy? Weird. Must be YouTube or something because I'm not showing any um, glitches. We're going to start with T-Rose. We're going to start with T-Rose. We're not going to go the darkest color to begin with. I think that's just asking for it. So we are going to go with a uh, T-Rose, which is E93. All right, folks, first stroke is going down. Everybody cross your fingers. I'm just as nervous as you. <laughs> All right, T Rose, let's see how this works. <laughs> That's country, right? Nothing changed. Shannon, Shannon said it out of love. Uh-huh, so much love. 
All right. Oh, I'm anxious. Okay. I said coffee, so. So the backing on this, I forgot to show you before we did this, actually. I can show you real quick. The backing on this, actually, it's, so it's not like normal paper. Holding breath, right? It's actually a gloss on the back. I don't know if you can see mm, with the lights. There you go. So it's actually gloss on the back, which makes it, you know, more friendly for having a lamp. So I don't think I don't think there'll be any concern of bleed through, um, but just the same. All right. So grab the brush tip here. <laughs> Coloring an ocean. Perfect. All right. Doesn't seem to be bleeding. I don't know how much like blending I'll be able to do on this. There's no bleeding. The ink isn't running, which were all things that I thought about and was mildly concerned. We might not even use that orange, that dark orange. I don't know. Oh, Tammy, that's awesome. Oh, that sounds good, Evelyn. Although sad that somebody didn't want the kitten, but still very awesome. Getting a little bit of a light glare today. We're gonna that down there. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. I want to try and do some of this rock today too. I'm just I'm not pressing super hard just because I'm not. Oh, this. Yeah, yeah. This is the this is the actual lamp here. Okay. Yeah, the paper's really nice. There's there's not really any tooth to it, but that's actually good for markers. So, um, yeah, I don't mind it. Gliding across, across real nice. Like I said, the ink isn't smearing. It doesn't seem to be bleeding. but we're definitely not gonna rush it. I get one chance at this. One chance. Remember to breathe, no promises, no promises. Yeah, just, I need Belinda here to help me with the Copics. Uh, Julie, so all the information is in the description below, but this is from, um, here, I'll cap on the marker for a second. This is from the coloring lamp. Um, I did a collaboration with them. So these are actually my uh, images. I, I drew the illustration. It's their lamp design, uh, but I collaborated with them and I drew the images, um, this one and this one. So an ocean one and kind of a bird floral one. Um, and there is going to be a Kickstarter soon. Basically, there's a whole paragraph of information uh, below. The Kickstarter hasn't released yet. It's going to happen sometime this summer. Um, so they've been sending out some prototypes and stuff, but it's going to be it's going to be awesome. I do know that there was a request um for starting to send out the coloring pages themselves so people can color them and then when the lamp portions release all they can all they need to do is just pop them in the lamp hi kelly right shannon i know me too that one's definitely my favorite okay so that was t rose e93 so now we're gonna go ahead and grab cotton pearl okay Oh, I'm so nervous, Chat. I don't know how the blending's gonna work on it. Worst case scenario, we just fill in all the space. <laughs> we'll have to check and see, actually. There's plasticky backs. So I would think that it wouldn't bleed through, but let's let's give it a check. Okay, so see, it's bleeding through the paper, but because there's plastic on the back, it's not an issue. Okay. See, maybe this is just a sign I need to start, like, designing furniture. <laughs> just going lightly because I'm not quite sure how these markers will work on this paper, if we can get much blend out of it. I mean, if it was regular paper, then maybe... Oh, look, actually, that's drying really nicely, isn't it? That's a good question, Deborah. We'll find out. 
Oh, I hope you do, Evelyn. That'd be so nice. I'm sure Riggs will love it. Oh, see, that's actually coming out really nice. Like, it looks a little bit too dark when it's wet, but once it dries, it's actually real nice. So we're actually going to bring this color. Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling less, less anxious about this. It's coming along. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't use that, uh right that super dark orange mm, that's fair Evelyn Just kind of taking it slow. I don't want to rush it. No reason to rush it. Okay. Oh, thanks, Teresa. Thanks, Marie. Awesome. Perfect, Julie. Yeah, um, things are going to be really moving along with this come summertime. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. All right. Now we're going to grab Pale Lemon Y000. After we finish this starfish, we'll move on to different. See, it's coming. It almost looks like kind of greenish blue, but I have a feeling that just like the other one, once it dries, it'll come out a little bit better. Wait for that to dry. <laughs> it's supposed to be lemon. <laughs> okay, yeah. See, now that it's drying, it's coming out more lemony. More lemony. I would think you'd need a really good quality marker for this. Otherwise, you may wind up with a beautiful picture unlit and streaks, hence, once it's lit. Um, I have not tried the water-based markers, but there is a reason that I chose Copics. I wanted to make sure that it looked real nice. Um, but what I am going to do, because like I said, I can't use those Artezas yet until I do the review for them. Once I do, I will probably try out the Artezas uh, on here as well. I am using T-Rose at the moment. Now, I mean, I don't have a huge collection of Copics, but... I think that they are gonna do well to get the job done. There we go. Okay, yeah, this is turning out. Have you tested what the colors will look like once bat lit by the lamp? No, because I really don't have any way to do that. Um, just because uh, I'd have to color on it and then test it. This is the first one I've got. However, if you go to Type exclamation point lamp and you go to Ethan's Instagram for the coloring lamp. He has loads of uh, colored lamps on there with the light behind it. Now, with the colored light behind it, I'm not sure, but I'm sure that it'll look great with the white behind it. So there's going to be coloring options or colored options for it. Okay, so now we're going to do cotton pearl again. actually kind of nice. It's been a while since I've used markers. You know, because I've been coloring in Johanna's and they don't really take, uh, take Copics all that well. All right, now let's go in here. See, it doesn't look at all like the color that it should on here, but then once it dries, then it does. Okay, so what I kind of want to do is we're going to grab the tea rose. Okay, if the page was not so huge, I would say pick up the page and hold it up to the light. Yes, yeah, I, I agree. That would be, and you still could. And I, I honestly, that would probably work if I didn't have a tripod over it. Oh, she's going to try super tips. Nice. Okay, so I'm taking just a little bit of the tea rose. And adding a little bit of definition to these little sections here. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't use that. Uh, could get a light board. I do. 
I'll have to get a light board for this. I have it. It's just tucked away in a drawer right now and I'd have to <laughs> to shift everything to get it. But that's a really good idea, Evelyn, the light board. Yeah, if you have a light board, start out with a light board and then check it out that way. Oh, I can't wait until everybody gets to try these. This is actually really fun. The markers are working really well with this. I forgot how fast and easy markers are too. Like the markers blend or me personally? If so, thanks Sarah. I don't use them that often. I probably should use them more often, but I tend to default to uh, pens unless I'm doing something like a um, uh, Christine Karen. I don't know how gel pens would take on this. I feel like giving this like the smoothness of a paper, I feel like it would take a while for gel pens to, uh, to dry. It's so much fun, Dabra. I was at the beginning, Teresa, but now that I'm going, I'm like, all right, I can handle this. I can do this. Pulls your hand the marks. Oh, thanks, Sarah. See, it looks different when it's wet. You know what it is? It's because it's so see-through here. It's showing up the gray of my mat behind it. I'm realizing that now. Okay, this is coming out really nice. I'm really pleased with this. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to use tea rose again. A little bit more in here. I suppose you could do gel pen. You just have to let it dry for a very long time. I probably feel most comfortable using uh, alcohol markers on here, though. I think that's going to be the best option. Hi, sweetie. Love you. Yeah, it's yeah. just starting. All right, get some sleep. Yeah. Love you. Yeah. Mwah. All right, this is that uh, cotton pearl. Pick up Belinda if you, oh yes, Belinda. She is, she is the Copic queen. She would probably have so much fun with one of these and would do amazing with it she's the one who got me started about like curious about copics okay Do a little sip here all right we're gonna grab gonna grab our tea rose again and for the little dots i'm gonna go ahead and fill in the dots i knew i wanted to do shading on these for sure I didn't want to do just straight color, but, and although the, like the color when it's wet is slightly misleading, once it dries, it looks really nice. I'll be excited to try the Artezas on this. Although I don't know, now that I know that the Copics work fine, I don't know, I'd want to try something else and chance it, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she is super sweet. Took her to the eye doctor today. We noticed that she had been squinting a little bit during school and her vision is slightly off, but not enough to get glasses yet. But the eye doctor says by next year, she probably will. Honestly, I think the big part is because we've been schooling at home all year. She's had to work on computers more than the average uh, kid would. Um, so I think that she's going, you know, we're after the school year's over, we're done with at home schooling. We'll be doing um, normal school. And I think when she's back in school, I don't think it'll be as much of an issue. Okay. I think that starfish is done. Oh, really? Very nice. Okay. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. That's pretty good, right? I mean, not to toot my own horn or anything, but I was pretty nervous about this, but I like it. I like it. Okay, let's do, while we have these colors out, well, do we want to do another starfish or do we want to move on to, we can move on to some of the rock. Okay, what do we have here? We've got grays. Okay, the grays that we have are, oh, awesome. Thank you, Lisa. All right, we got N5, N3, a fly, because, you know, it's springtime and it's awesome. <laughs> Shannon, I love it. Hi, Miss Rena. <laughs> Patrick turned orange, right? 
All right, we've got uh, N0, N3, N5. I feel like we're gonna grab mint blue, but I also have, okay, we're gonna grab these purples too. I'm gonna check and see what color these are. Probably not the dark blue. Octopus, no, I'm not brave enough to do the octopus yet. We're actually gonna stick, I think, to the middle too, because if I do the octopus, I'm gonna have to prop the paper up on the tripod. <laughs> oh, nice, Miss Raina, that's right, you said you were going to the drive-in, how was that? Okay, we are going to, do these real quick. Are those the only grays that I have? Let's see. Yeah, those are the only grays. Okay. Shift that over there. Could do a Mr. Crab. We could. I haven't thought about what colors to do Mr. Crab yet, though. I might need to save that one for the Artezas, too, because I am kind of lacking in my reds. I had one red, but um, it's actually dried out. I, I need to get... Um, I need to get more ink for it. So that might have to be something, wait for an Arteza. Are you going to be doing a realistic look? No, I'm just look going for something I wouldn't be embarrassed to put up in my office look. <laughs> Mr. Crab, where's Squidward? Um, Does the octopus count as Squidward? I'm trying to think. I mean, we've got a slug down here. Does the slug count? See, there's a little, a little slug here. <laughs> All right, so let's see. We've got N, N5, which is really dark. We probably won't use that. Um, we've got N3. Okay, which is pretty nice. Okay, those ones there. Okay, we've got N0, which is a nice, really light, neutral gray. Okay, so I think it's safe to say we probably will not use this dark gray. All right, then we got purples. We got this blue, which is, what is that? Mint blue, B01. Wow, that's incredibly bright. We do not want that. Let's try. Steve, she needs more Copics, right? Right? We do need more Copics. Um, baby blue, B21. That's more acceptable. Although I feel like it's starting. I think I have, do I have a refill of that one? I do have a refill of baby blue. Side note though, I will not be refilling it over the lamp. Not at all. Okay, and then I've got some of these kind of uh, like ash lavender would probably be real good. Cause I don't know that I wanna do just, ooh, that ash lavender would be really nice for the rock, see? I think that might be what we use. Yeah, I think that's what we'll use. I think we'll use these three. Okay, so. Oh, who does not pineapple under the sea? Copyright infringement. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do uh, N0 neutral gray 0, N3 neutral gray 3, and V22 ash lavender. We're just going to do one section of the rock here because I want to try and get around to as much as uh, we can for today. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start with neutral gray three. Okay, so N3. Thanks, Debra. Okay. Wanna try and be careful because I don't wanna get on any of the anemone. Yeah, that other gray would have been way too dark. So we're just gonna go in between these guys because honestly, that's the hardest part. Honestly, the SpongeBob era was kind of past my era, but like the kids that I babysat watched that show. I think my little brother, which is why it's stuck in my head. Oddly enough, I know all the words. And little flicks here. I don't want to do any super hard lines. But we saw that blending wasn't totally impossible. Oh, yeah. I have got a death grip on this marker, man. I do not... I do not uh, treat my markers the same way I treat my pencils, especially when I'm coloring on something like this that makes me this nervous. Yeah, you better believe it. It's like... <laughs> 
Shannon Squares Pants. Not Squares Pants. Square Pants. Shannon has Square Pants. I don't know. Now I'm just... Now I'm just spouting nonsense. Okay. All right. Do it, Deborah. I approve. I got order of open stock polychromos came in. Now I have 119 of the 120. Turns out I ordered burnt sienna when I meant to order burnt umber. Oh man, my OCD. That's that's rough, Miss Rena. You need to order that other one like right away. Yes. How is Brian doing? Okay, so we're using the Ash Lavender now V22. Yeah, I think that was a a good choice. I may need to work to blend these two colors a little bit more. See if I go over gray that's already there. Well, and there's loads of other illustrators too. So obviously not just mine, but he got some other pretty um, decent names too. So uh, there's a little bit of something for everyone. Mary, hi Mary. Aw, oh, good, I'm glad, Shannon. Well, hopefully that's the last of it then. Normally I'd probably flip this around so I could flick it this direction, but there's not gonna be a whole lot of flipping with this page. I can feel the strain in my arm though from the way that I'm holding this marker. <laughs> I can tell I'm anxious. Alright, it's ugly ugly teenager stage at the moment. Bear with me. Alright. N3. Nope, not N3. Oh my gosh, that would have been disastrous. Nope. Alright, uh, N0. N0 is what we're going to use. Alright, we're going to fill in the rest of this. We're going to go over this in the hopes that it might blend a little bit more. We'll see, though. It's definitely not blending the way that it does on paper. Like, it's not super absorbent, if that makes sense. And that's squeaking it. I can see myself like moving it around on top. We'll definitely have to do a few layers. Hmm. Let's see. I'll let that dry a minute. Let's grab. Hi, Angela. <laughs> right, Evelyn? We're just like, Urgh. <laughs> Okay, let's grab N3 again. Wrong end. As I bring this across, make this work. Yeah, it's definitely got a little bit of a glossy feel. So don't go in this thinking that it's going to be exactly like it is in your coloring book paper. We're putting it to the test today. Okay, I am going to see if I can flip it a little bit. Bear with me here. Here we go. We're going for a ride. Wee! Oof. Wee. There we go. All right. Like, because sometimes you can use a really dark color and blend with like a lighter color on top and they mix together really well. But this just has a completely different kind of absorbency, if that makes sense. Okay, then we're going to use Ash Lavender, not that end.
we're going to grab N0. We're going to flip this over and look on the back, too. I get the sense that if you were to drag your hand over it, it would smear. So it's something you want to be careful of. Okay. I think I'm going to stop fiddling with that one. It's still very wet on top. Let's kind of just take a quick look without letting it touch the other side. So it is like bleeding through, but because of the gloss on the back. <laughs> Angela. Okay. All right. Now we're going to shift over this way. We've got it just up on here on that and help dry a little bit. You know, it might be easier if we do this an anemone. 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 Okay. We're going to put these mirror. Yeah. Okay. Actually, probably shouldn't just keep them all piled over here. Put them back in the tray. All right. We're going to grab our greens now. Okay, we've got a fair amount of greens. I ended up getting more greens because I assume because of all the plants that I like to do. Let's grab pale lemon. If you have like a real light pink to real light blue, you could do like a wash over the top of this. We're gonna, it's interesting. It's dry, but there's a little bit of a slight gloss on top. It's not coming off. Interesting. Okay. So now we've got some of these greens. We want blue. Let's grab mint blue also. Okay, so mint blue is that. Let's take a look at jade green. Jade green looks real nice. Yeah, we'll definitely use jade green. Okay, we're going to take a look at mignonette. Mignonette is what that one is. That one's nice also. Okay. Here, I guess I can. I don't know. I guess you can't really see. Uh, okay, let's see. Pale cobalt green, also good. We need a darker green. Do cobalt green. That one's pretty nice. And then let's check lettuce green. I feel like that's gonna be pretty bright. Yeah, that's way bright. Okay. Mint blue was pretty bright if I remember correctly. Yeah, I think we'll steer clear of mint blue. Okay, so not this one. This one's too bright. So we got cobalt green, jade green, mignonette, and pale cobalt green here. Okay. So those are the ones that we are going to use on the anemone. Castlevania? Isn't that a cartoon or something? Maybe. The name, the name sounds familiar. All right, so let's start with, 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 pale cobalt green, yeah? Okay. We're in frame here. I have no idea. Maybe I'm thinking of Transylvania. I have no idea. So no, I haven't. <laughs> I still need to watch the new uh, Handmaid's Tale. I haven't. Oscar color pencils. I've heard. I've heard good things about them. Hi, Robin. I miss you coming in. I apologize. <laughs> Evelyn watching the policy and asked me if I had all the color pencils now with a totally straight face I said all but one ordered the wrong color oh my gosh oh 
all the colored pencils. Is it even possible for us to have all the colored pencils? There's so many pencils out there. Yeah, I'm one episode behind. I feel like it's probably a good one, though. Without giving any spoilers away. This little uh Posca pens or Posca pencils. Honestly, probably neither because the Posca pens are paint pens, and I feel like it would get a little bit messy. Um, you probably could, but it definitely wouldn't be something I would jump right to. Um, basically, Ethan recommends alcohol-based markers or water-based markers. Um, he also said for pencils, um, the paper isn't great for pencils either. Um, and they are working on a more pencil-friendly, uh, paper. Okay, hi, Ashley! Alright, and then, let's see, this was pale green. We're gonna use the jade green. There are way too many sets of colored pencils. I'm torn between getting Koinar 144 or Mitsubishi Uni 100 set. Mmm. a good one. You have to let me know what you decide. All right, so this is jade green. It's got a little bit of a blue kind of hue to it. I'll put that on the tip here. Plus, it was weird doing this illustration and then not sharing it with you all. You know, because normally if I finish a page, I'm just like, bam! Off we go. Everybody, here you go. But yeah, I, I kind of just kept this one to myself. I was like, oh, this is weird. I think the Mitsubishi Uni are the same as Posca pencils, just under the parent name. Oh, interesting. I found a Mitsubishi Uni 240 50 year anniversary set on eBay for 700 Ooh, Yeah. Ooh, Pablo's are nice, Deborah. Honestly, at this point, but it's also a preference because I prefer the harder leaded pencils now than I do the soft. Uh, I would choose um, Pablo's over the Lumis, probably. I might need to add a little bit of a darker blue on the very tip of these little, what would you call them? Tendrils? Tentacles? I mean, it's a sea anemone, so I'm sure it has a name. I feel like tendrils is probably more, more accurate. Honestly, this probably could have been a pink sea anemone if I wanted to. Okay. Let's grab now the cobalt green. Funny thing is, is I drew this um, on my iPad and I had to keep reminding myself that it was going to be much larger. I kept thinking, I'm like, no, this is too small. This is too small. I need to fix this. And then I was like, no, wait, it's going to be much larger. Wiggly things. I like that. I like that. I like wiggly things. Although that's a weird sentence taken out of context. I like the name wiggly things. Anemones have rings of tentacles surrounding the central mouth. Tentacles have specialized stinging cells called nematocysts. Tentacles. Okay, yeah, tentacles. Well, then what is the definition of a tendril? Do you think tendrils are more associated with plants? I think that would probably be more accurate. All right, and then we're gonna grab Mignonette. More of a yellow green. Oh. Tendril curl, maybe, maybe. I'll stick with wiggly things. <laughs> I like it, Evelyn. 
I'm gonna do this is the cobalt green. And we're going to use the cobalt green on the stock. Georgia needs to study work hard so she can buy her pink beds. I like it. Anemone uprooting itself and swimming. What? Oh, weird, Deborah. Also, I did not know that starfish went after anemones. I guess I didn't really consider anemones having predators. I mean, I guess they would have to. Otherwise, they'd be all over the place. Oh, no. Run, anemone, run. My most favorite pencil? Ooh. Um, I suppose it's situational, but if somebody said, choose your favorite pencil or else, and I absolutely had to, I'd probably say Studley Ergosoft. They're the ones I go to the most. I like sometimes having smaller choices and they're not overly expensive. Thanks, Angela. Hi, Jamie. Tentacles are appendages used by animals for grasping food and such. Tendrils are long thread-like appendages from plants growing in spiral form to offer aid support for the growing plant. Oh, I like that. Hi, Alex. But yeah, probably uh, probably the Stedler Ergosofts. They are stalking the anemones. Anemones. Emily's anemones. Or anemones. I stressed them out without even meaning to. Sorry, anemone. I didn't mean to stress you out. Right. Poor little stressed out anemones. Does that mean I should make them like red or something? Sounds good, Ashley. Enjoy yourself. All right. Oh, not every starfish eats anemones. Okay, maybe these are the nice starfish. Maybe maybe they don't eat things that are green. <laughs> All right. So pale cobalt green now. Yeah, the colors definitely don't blend as well together as they would on normal paper. But it's not normal paper either. There's a limit to what you can do for paper, especially paper that needs to be, um, you know, good for a lamp. Let's try grabbing, <laughs> Evelyn, uh, let's try grabbing jade green. All right, now I want to grab mint blue and just on the very tip of the tentacle, I'm gonna put a little bit of blue. I'll look up at that in just a second. Focus mode here. Sure I don't miss any of the tentacles. Or go out of the lines too badly. I wondered how long it could hold out. I could hear them attacking the wall. <laughs> They're going after your, uh... Oh, seriously? Yeah. Hideous. I think uh, we let's have see. to stop that. Yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Is there a Tyler Paper Castell Black Edition pencils? I have not. <laughs> Alex. Darn growing kids. 
That is true, Aspie. That is true. Okay. Um, let's grab actually a little bit more of this mint blue. And we're going to use some of it down here. There we go. All right. Let's see. Oh, wait. Wait. I um, missed it. Let's, this is the pale cobalt green. And mignonette. And then we're going to use mignonette again here. And then I kind of want to grab pale cobalt green again. Add a little bit of the tentacles to the bottom. There we go. Okay, I'm pleased with that. Let's see what I miss. Ah, oh, thanks. Oh, on the on the lamp. Yeah, yeah. There's a whole there's a whole bunch of them here. For those that didn't get to see, there's a whole bunch of them. So we've got. Obviously, it looks a little bit different for you guys than it does for me. So this is the white, yellow. This is like a yellow orange, a little bit darker orange. This is a straight up orange, and we have red. Then we've got like a fuchsia, we've got like a purpley pink. I should know all these colors. Then we have purple. Then we have a blue, a darker blue. We've got a teal, kind of a lighter teal, a cyan, light green. Is that light green? Yes. Uh, and green. And then, you know, obviously back to white. And then you can cycle through on here but when the real lamps uh come out they are going to be um because this is just a prototype they are going to be uh you can use an app on your phone hi kenny oh uh, awesome lisa i'm so glad you enjoyed yourself have a great night all right so we have colored so far i feel like i'm not totally happy with that rock but i don't want to bore you guys with rocks all night so we have a starfish and a anemone. Sounds good, Teresa. Sounds good, Kenny. An anemone. And we got the rock and the starfish. Let's now do. Let's do. I don't know if we could do. Maybe we can. I'm careful. Here, we're going to move these markers over. Oh, awesome, Alex. Okay. I want to position this so I don't accidentally bend it, you know? Okay. We're going to do a tiny little crab here. Call him Mr. Krabs Jr. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I guess this one is kind of like the butt shell was. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna move this speaker here so it doesn't get knocked over. All right, so let's make sure we're in focus here. All right, now I don't have a good solid red, so we are going to, actually now that I've got this shifted over here. Oh my gosh, that's so bright. There we go, that's better. All right, Um. right, let's see. Orange. See what color that's gonna be too dark, way too dark. We want subtle colors here. Uh, so Cindy, in the description below, you will find all the information you need. This is a prototype for the coloring lamp. This was actually one of my illustrations, as well as uh, but da -da -da, this one. I kind of like this. I moved the camera over here. You guys can see like my my Vanna White, like la 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 la. 
Yeah, we like this. And if I lean over too far, then you can see my face. But, you know, you can see my arms. La, 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 la. Pretty lip. Pretty lip. La, 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 la. Okay, now I'm done. <laughs> la. <laughs> he could be a blue crab. He could. I don't know. Because I'm probably going to do, like, colorful on the shell. Yeah, we're going to do, like, a pinkish kind of thing. Um, ba -bum -bum -bum. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, these are all my good colors here. So how dark is this one? That one's actually not bad. We might do just like a tiny bit of that one. Okay, so Azalea. Is it going to be that big? Oh yeah, yeah, because I mean, this is the size, this is the size of the lamp here. So I mean, this is the size of my hand. It's about 18 inches tall. Um, the difference, the things that are probably gonna change, she said the feet, style are gonna change this top part may end up um well you can't see the top now but it may end up being a lid versus just a ring the magnets are gonna change a little bit and then the light fixture inside will be a little bit fancier um hey 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 no 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 we're not rubbing on things um so yes it will be this big it's gonna be awesome so awesome all right so we're gonna use azalea what do we have here we've got tea rose i did really like the tea rose for that's awfully orange. Maybe we want more pinky with a little bit of orange. Oh yeah, lots of coloring. Enough for the whole family. All right, light pink. That was the wrong side. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I don't know if light pink is the one I want. What is this one? We have tender pink. Okay. That is a big negatory ghost rider. Okay, um... Let's see, was tea rose what we already tested? Yes. Okay, actually, I take that back. What if we were to do, hang on one second, guys, I gotta put the cat out real quick. She's rubbing and everything. Come on, kitty. Oh, you just had your snack. Won't you meow angrily at me? There you go. Okay. Oh, we're back. Wait, what about the sloth? Blue swimmer crab? Could be a blue swimmer crab. Are blue swimmer crabs in the Pacific Northwest? I don't remember. Okay, so here's what we could do. We could do azalea. Okay. Followed by... Right, Jamie? I know. I have them. I just don't use them very often. But for those of you that missed it earlier, um, I got the new Arteza. Uh, I do not, Teresa, no. Um, but I did get the new Arteza. Um, oh, that dries so much. That seems so dry, but no, we'll use that. Uh, I got the new Arteza brush pens. We're going to do a review on them. Okay, and then let's do... Okay, this could end up being real pretty. Okay, pinkish vanilla. Yes. Then followed by pale yellow, I believe. Yes, I think that will look nice. Well, she just got a snack. And so now she wants another snack. <laughs> oh, the sloth. Oh, right, 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 right. Yes, yeah, there's so many great designs on there. Okay, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and dive on in with our little crab. Okay, so we're gonna start with a zip. Oh, I forgot. I've been showing them at the beginning what we're what we're using. Okay, so these are our colors. We have azalea V05. We have tender pink RV13. We have light pink RV21. Pinkish vanilla R01 and pale yellow Y11. Oh, yeah, I'm excited about Teresa. I haven't tried them yet. I haven't tried them yet. Well, let's get this in focus. Oop, there we go. Um, but they're these ones right here. Ooh. There we go. And they look so nice, and they've got a real nice uh, case inside them. So I'm going to do a whole review on them. Um, try this weekend. We'll see. That's the hope. <laughs> but we shall see. There 
go. All right, so we are going to start with Azalea. Okay. Now, knowing now that it's hard to blend the colors together, we're gonna go slow with the Azalea, okay? You're fine, Kenny. I've been falling asleep lately, listening to my Outlander book on Audible, and I realized the problem with that is that I don't know what I missed when I wake up because it'll still have been playing. And then we're like, you know, eight chapters ahead, you know, and it's just like, oh, oops. And then you got to just go back to what you remember most recently. Let's just start with that. We'll do his arms in a minute. Oh, there's a timer? Oh, I might need to look into that. Okay, we have tender pink and light pink. I think tender pink is darker. Yes, it is. Right. Yeah, that's good. Crab! Yes, we're doing the crab! Tiny little strokes here. Hi, Cam. Oh, sounds good, Alex. Yeah, I'm enjoying it, Cam. This is a lot of fun. It's been so long since I've used markers. I have them. I really need to use them more often. And like I said before, though, I mostly just like save them for when I do Christine Karen skin tones and whatnot, you know? Uh, on the Instagram, yes, there are colored ones. And then this is what the lamp will look like. Obviously, this is uncolored because the lamp just arrived today. Uh, but this is what it'll look like when it's finished. It's got the different colors and everything um, that you can use behind it. Um, but yes. And, and when when I'm done with this one, I'll show I'll show this finished lamp as well. So there's two pages in my art pack. It's this one, the ocean one, and then this one with the macrame bird one. Okay, then light pink. Yeah, you can type in uh, exclamation point lamp, or if you're watching this back, uh, the links are in the description below, as well as more information about the lamp and the Kickstarter and all of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, there was a girl color in the bird page, too. I saw that. That was cool. And it really gives you an idea of just how big the pages are. That's one of the reasons I wanted to set it up so you all could see the lamp, so you could see, like, my hand in comparison, you know? Oh, thanks, Deborah. I don't know how long it's going to take me to finish this whole thing. <laughs> all right, now we're going to use pinkish vanilla. It's a little darker, but once it dries, the color will make more sense. You take it off to color it or leave it wrapped in the lamp. Oh, you take it off to color for sure. So right now what we're doing is we're coloring the um, 
uncurled version, obviously. But then once this is done, then you have to put it all together. Which is why I'm trying to be super careful not to crease this at all. You should, Ashley! I mean, the Kickstarter hasn't started yet, but it's going to be so awesome when it does. So awesome. Okay. Then we're going to grab... Oh, hair there. Uh, we're going to grab Pale Yellow. Um, well, they have a website, too. It's just thecoloringlamp.com. It looks different, but it'll look better once it dries. Paper's just saturated right now. Okay. Hi, Jamie. Oh, you came in late. Oh, oh, I got what you, I saw it. Sorry. I jumped ahead. I just answered your question. I knew you were here. Oh my goodness. I apologize. If I ever like do that and you're like, I just told her a thing. Honestly, it's because when I read all the comments, once I answer it, it sort of like disappears out of my head because then I'm reading the next thing and I'm also multitasking here. So braining is hard. <laughs> okay. Now let's go ahead and do light pink. Light pink. Okay. And then we're going to grab pinkish vanilla. My my grip has lessened slightly. A little bit less of a death grip on the markers now. Not quite as anxious as it once was. You know what? I'm realizing that I actually wanted to use pale lemon, not this one. But I guess we've come too far. We'll use pale lemon from here on out. I wonder if I were to use pale lemon on top, if it would thin it out a little bit. I need to get myself a colorless blender to kind of take some of that color out, you know? Yeah, that's a little better. All right. Uh, yes, exclamation point lamp. Well, I guess that'll take you to uh, description below. There's a link to the website. There's a link to the website in the description below. Um, let's do, let's go ahead and grab Azalea again. Where did they get the names? I have no idea. I think there's somebody who just has a single job and that's just like creating the names for like pencils and, and, uh, and markers. Seems like a pretty sweet gig. Get hired as the name maker. I don't want that job. Have a blender for markers? I think they do, yeah. We're gonna grab the tender pink. How do you get one for the lamp? Um, they haven't been made yet. They have so this is a prototype, um, but the Kickstarter will be starting soon. Every all the information you need is in the description below, as well as you know uh, information for when the Kickstarter is happening, um, links, everything. Okay, light pink. 
And then exclamation point lamp will give you the link to the coloring lamps uh, Instagram. So these are not like readily available on like Amazon or anything. Uh, the Kickstarter will be happening this summer. So if you are interested and this is something that you're going to want, then um, keep an eye on the color. Follow the, the coloring lamp on Instagram and uh, all their platforms. And that job of color green, other green, and another green. <laughs> right, Evelyn? I like it. Okay, so pinkish vanilla. Leaving just the tiniest little space for the pale yellow. I actually don't mind that it was a little bit brighter yellow on the stomach. It'll just make it so that we've got a little bit of a difference in the legs and the stomach. Although, we need to grab a light pink here. All right, so pale yellow now. Go. Oh, I like our little crab. It's turning out cute. All right, light pink. As cute as crabs can be. All right, pinkish vanilla. Pale lemon. Because I forgot that little part there. There we go. All right, we need to do his eye stalks and his other side here. So let's do... Oh, thanks, Angela. All right, so tender pink. Gonna do the tender pink all the way around eyes here. There we go. I just glanced over and realized I totally forgot to do the girl's ears. The girl's ears? Oh, oh, on the page. I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> she is pretty. Um, okay, and then pinkish vanilla. And then pale lemon. There we go. All right, and then let's do the other legs. <laughs> right, Miss Rena? I love it. I feel like I should give her a side ponytail. Using the azalea now. Forgot how quick markers were. <laughs> Was it that always preferred markers? Was that Mia? I feel like Mia was always really, she loved markers. It's Mia Bear. There we go. Okay, and then we're gonna use Tender Pink. Then when we're done with our handy dandy crab, what time is it? We're still doing good. We got half an hour left. We'll do something else uh, after we finish the crab. Whatever, if I, whether I decide to do um, Arteza or Copics, I'm gonna have to make sure I have plenty of ink for the blue because that's gonna take up a lot on the back. This would handle watercolor but i would assume not very well because you wouldn't want the paper to buckle considering you need it to be flat um for being in the in the lamp fixture okay light pink so, not that anybody asked but i was just sitting here thinking about it i don't think i would recommend watercolor with these although it's nice there isn't any despite all the moisture from the markers it doesn't seem to be buckling from the markers at all Oh, Deborah, I hope your tooth feels better soon. All right, pinkish vanilla. Leaving just a little bit of spot for the yellow. Okay. 
Okay, then pale yellow. There we go. All right. <laughs> the fourth Sarah. <laughs> All right, there we go. Look at that. All right, we got an anemone, we got a starfish, we got a rock, and we have a crab. All right, let's do let's do the shell. Hmm? A starter set, like for pencils or for books? Yeah, Tanya didn't stream tonight. Okay. Oof. All right. I want to do blues. So I got some pretty dark blues. I think they're going to be too dark. We're going to pull all of our blues here. Let's see where we're at with them. Oh, is that a blue? That's jade green. Maybe. Maybe we'll use jade green. <laughs> oh, I thought you said, oh, okay. Everything's okay. Like, whew, I didn't miss it. All right, so let's see. This one's pretty dark. I think this is going to be a no. This is cyanine blue, B16. Yeah, way too dark. That's big negatory. Um, let's see. This one is also, I think, going to be too dark. Peacock blue, also too dark. I think this may be the darkest color we're going to use here, which is Tunisian blue. We may use a little bit of Tunisian blue. And then we've got baby blue. There's a much cooler blue. Mm, we may not use baby blue, actually. Mint blue. Yes, mint blue. And then jade green. Yeah, I think that'll be good. And then we'll rip the pale yellow. Yes, that'll be perfect. So these four here. Oh, what a miss, what a miss. Um, yeah, exactly. Find a whimsical book and don't think, just color. Yeah, I like that. 30 days of flowers, that's nice. Okay, these are our colors. Okay, so we have Tahitian blue, mint blue, jade green, and pale yellow are the four colors we're going to use for it. Okay. And focus. There we go. There we are. All right. Be careful here. Now, I'm not sure what we'll do for the stripes, but this is going to be for the body. Oh, yeah, I can imagine, Alex. Now, I want the darker one to be this direction, so we're actually going to pick this up and we're going to turn it. Okay. There you go. We're going to be upside down for a little bit, okay? There we go. All right, so we are going to start with Tahitian blue, which is B04, okay? Sometimes I feel like when I... um, Yeah, I like them too, Deborah. I'm excited to try those markers. Sometimes when I say like the numbers of the Copics, I feel like I'm like calling out bingo. All right, so B04, B04. Does anybody have a B4? Um, all right, so Tahitian blue. And I turned it because I wanted my flick to go this direction. And this is the most comfortable direction for my hand. 
I'm just massive fear of messing up my books as well. So there's a thing I'd love to try, but I fear I don't do well and mess the book up. Thanks for the advice, guys. I just need to go start. Sarah, and you know, if it's a real struggle, try PDFs. You can always reprint them. All right, mint blue. Mint blue. Agreed, Kenny. Agreed. And we're going to do Jay Green. Okay, we're gonna grab a bit more of the mint blue. I feel like this is... Hi all, I'm Christian. I'm Easton's business partner. Let me know if you have any questions. Hello, Christian. Look, everyone. Christian at the coloring lamp. Welcome. We have been working on... It's upside down at the moment. But this is the page we are working on at the moment. And we have been enjoying looking at the beautiful rotating color lamp, even though I have my stuff here while we're working. Hello, I got caught up there in the moment with my blues. <laughs> Christian, when can we get it? <laughs> Serena, I love it. Welcome, Christian. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yes, Christian is here to answer your questions. If you have, <laughs> hi Christian, I need this. If you have any questions, now is the time to ask. All right, let's see. Let's grab mint blue again. I wanna add a little bit more here. No? <laughs> All right, Kenny. All right, Jay Green. I got so quiet there because I was so focused on what I was doing. Yes, yeah, uh, Ethan mentioned that there's gonna be the possibility of getting out the pages to you, which is gonna be really cool. All right. Then we're going to use pale lemon yellow, or just pale lemon. It's a yellow. I do really like this color, though. I think this is one I'm definitely going to have to get refills of. You know, I hadn't used my Copics much, but I feel like they were just, like, waiting for this project. I feel like we need to do like pink stripes on this shawl. All right, we are going to turn this round the other way here. Yoink. There we go. I haven't tested those yet. Maybe you can let us know. I know I've been curious about it. I'm not entirely sure. I don't know how it would handle with it. Okay, let's grab pink here. So we're gonna grab, let's grab tender pink. Actually, kind of similar to the crab colors we just did. So, tender pink.
No? Ooh, I like those colors together. That's nice. And then light pink. And then pinkish vanilla. All right. It'll look different once it dries. I did, Allie. I did. Yes, I did this one here. We're going to zoom out because I just finished that shell anyway. There we go. Yes, I did. Um, Ethan contacted me and I was lucky enough to be able to collaborate with them. So I did this illustration and ta -da, this one. <laughs> there we go. All right. So, so far, what time is it? We're doing good. Um, we have a crab, a shell, a starfish, a rock, and an anemone. <laughs> an anemone. Anemone. Oh my gosh. I was kidding, but then I couldn't say the word. Yeah, it's like. Um, the page itself is close to an 18 by 24. Yeah, because you can see my hand size here, which is why I put it here, because I wanted to show you, like, um, put these markers back here for a second. I grabbed, oof. So this is Worlds of Wonder in size comparison. Ta-da! Absolutely love it, though. All right, let's see. I think we have time help if I flipped it back. I think we have time to do one more section. I kind of want to do this fella. They are seals. Yeah, they're little bitty seals. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, they're little seals. Hi, Dorothy. Thank you. We have a boat back here. Could do a boat. Oof. However, we pivoted slightly. We're working hard to have sheets available ASAP so people can start coloring very soon. See, I think that's so cool. Okay. We could do the boat. Could do the boat. I don't know. It's kind of hard to fit it with this. You know, let's just go ahead and do the anemone. But we should do it slightly different colors than we did the green one. Aiming to go live on Kickstarter for early August and have the lamps to you by October or November. Timeline is very fluid. Ooh, see? So maybe by Christmas time. Do them as Christmas presents. Yeah, two sheets per art pack. Yeah, and Christian, you guys have at least at least five or six other illustrators, right? I've been trying to keep track of who's who. Oh, Christmas one could be fun. Like a special edition. That could be real fun. All right, so we're gonna have a big orange starfish here. Oh, Ethan is here too. Did I miss Ethan? I'm so sorry. Say hi to Ethan. Hi, Ethan. Oh, oh, like he's there with you. He's there with you. Hi, Ethan. <laughs> oh, there he is, the color and lamp. Oh, I totally missed it. Hello. Yes, throw your questions at him. <laughs> well, here you go, Ethan, if you want to see. All right, so we've got... Whoop, there we go. We've got these little fellas. We've been jumping around trying to do little bits and pieces. Little bits and pieces. There we go. And then we've got our fancy lamp here with all of our lovely clutter to go right there with it. <laughs> Usually this table is a mess while I'm streaming, like a total mess. Yes, and it's amazing. I'm so glad he did. Okay, so let's do for this one, like I said, we're gonna have orange, orange. We've got orange here, blue here. We'll definitely bring in, I'm thinking pink and green for this one. I'm thinking pink and green. So let's grab our greens again. Okay. That's our tea rose. Yes. Hi, Michelle. All right. Let's do, let's start with cobalt green again. Okay. We're going to do the inside first before we do the tentacles. Right, Angie? It's wonderful. 
it's so like new and refreshing, you know, like it's it's something brand new to the community. Hi, Dorothy. I don't want to do too much of the dark green because I want to leave room for the pink too. Upload their own images. That could be fun. That's what I'm thinking. Hi, Gail. What kind of paper is it? So it's a paper that's made specifically for the lamp. It's pretty smooth. There's not a lot of tooth, but that's what makes it perfect for the markers. I'm gonna zoom out here because I wanna show you. The back side of it is actually like a plasticky, almost gloss. And that has a lot to do with the heat from the lamp. It needed to be something that obviously, you know, would be um, conducive to creating the lamp. But the nice thing is, is even though you can see that it's like bleeding through the paper, because of the gloss on the back, you don't have to worry about that transferring onto your surface. So it's actually working out really well uh oh nice christian uh it's actually working out really well on this paper all right so cobalt green it's a tiny little turn Well, I for one cannot wait for the Kickstarter to get going and see how everybody colors their lamps and has them up in their house and everything. I think it's going to be awesome. I'm going to finish the line straight across here. Make sure ooh, it would help if I was still in frame. <laughs> Well, I was so excited when this arrived today. I couldn't wait to get it put together. Okay, now we're gonna grab pale cobalt green. Oh, a blank pack, nice. As of now, Dorothy, it won't take a uh, pencil very well. It's definitely more conducive to marker. Pale cobalt green. It's gonna be so colorful when we're done. Up the chat in just a second. Oh, you got your second vaccination, Mary. How are you doing? How are you doing? Oh, specially priced markers. Nice. Are they going to be alcohol or water-based markers? Except pencil crayon, but it's been more challenging. No, that's fair. That's fair. Because you have to take into consideration, like, it's not, the paper's not warm, but you definitely have to take into consideration, you know, how it works with it. Ooh, from Australia. Oh, that's a good question. Yeah, shipping internationally. Will that be an option? Oh, poor baby. I hope Tanya feels better soon. Sorry, that didn't. I didn't mean to sound condescending. That was me like actual concern for Tanya. I hope she feels better soon. I know how rough that is, man. My second dose knocked me out for 48 hours. I'm totally stoked because I'm actually, as of the 13th, I was officially fully vaccinated. So that's nice. All right, Minionette now. And then we're going to use, I think, pale yellow, and then we'll fade that into like a peachy and then a pink. 
on the inside. Okay. Now we're going to use the pale yellow. Ooh, awesome. Perfect. Okay, so international will be an option. Very cool. Awesome, Miss Rena. All right, so pale lemon. All right, and then the next color we're gonna use, I think is, was it Cotton Pearl? Let's see, what was, let's look at the Pale Fruit Pink real quick. Mm. Cotton Pearl, I think is what we want. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair, Mary. Yes, agreed, Alex, agreed. All right, uh, Cotton Pearl. Let's see. And then, let's see, real light pink. What is the lightest pink I have here? Probably tea rose, maybe? Let's see. Tea rose might be my best bet, but light pink isn't bad. Yeah, I think we'll do light pink. Do a little bit of light pink on the inner ring. It'll almost be like watermelon. Watermelon anemone. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad. Yeah, I'm loving it. I mean, this is exciting. Definitely a bit of a connection to it because I drew it. Funny thing is, though, is that, like, when I'm drawing it, I don't necessarily think about how I would color it because I'm so focused on the drawing. So now that I'm at this stage, now I'm actually like, all right, so what colors do I want to go where? But also, you know, the tools kind of make the decision also because, you know, you're sort of with the limited amount of colors that I have. Oh, thanks, Alex. <laughs> All right, tea rose. Oh, awesome, Kenny. Yeah, rest up, hon. We'll see you on Monday. Yeah, today's Friday. All right, tea rose to connect, connect the colors here. Okay, then we'll grab that pinkish vanilla again. I think that's what I used. Or no, it was Cotton Pearl, wasn't it? Okay. See, it looks different when it's wet, but once it dries, it'll look different. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna do Pale Lemon. gonna take that pale lemon kind of over all that there like I said it'll look different once it dry <laughs> once it dries okay and then mignonette that I don't know Marie um I've ever never actually used distressed inks uh Karen Valentine I believe it's her last name anyway um she does amazing work with distressed ink but she hasn't really colored on here before, but I would assume so because inks are good with this. I dry yet, ran my hand through it. Okay. Let's get more of this yellow. Zucchini Kitty, thank you. Do I have, I feel like I might 
Try exclamation point Karen. I might actually have, using that pale lemon here, I might actually have a link for her. I just don't quite remember. All right, and then let's grab a pale cobalt green. Ah, yes, Tammy, yes. And that's the nice thing too, is that you can, you can match your decor with this. Okay, we're gonna grab Mignonette again. Careful not to run my hand back in it. Okay, while that's still wet, we're gonna grab the pale lemon again. There we go. Let's grab our cotton pearl. Ah, thank you, Shannon. Wasn't sure if I had it or not. I should add hers. Is yeah, she is the one to go to for distress inks for sure. Okay, we're gonna grab the pale lemon again. Ooh, ink tense. That could be interesting. But then that begs the question of of water on it again. So that will take some experimentation for sure. All right, there we go. I like how that's looking. Now let's zoom out. You can get a better look. Yes, Dee Dee Willingham. Yeah, she said, I think she said she was going to try. Who was it who said she was going to try something else? Uh, I don't remember what she said she was going to try next on hers. Okay, so now we're going to start with pale cobalt green. There it is. Okay. around the edge. Look up in chat in just a second. not to drag my hand over it as I don't want to smear it. Yeah, she's wonderful. Super talented. Oh, thank you, Coloring Lamp. I appreciate that. Can we get some hypes in chat for Coloring Lamp? And just hypes in chat because they're here hanging out answering all the questions. Thank you. You can type in exclamation point hype or use those handy dandy emotes. Oh, if I could type, there we go. Boots, hi boots. Thank you so much, I appreciate that. Uh, I don't think so, no, I have never, because I also haven't, um, I haven't experienced much of a smell just with the markers in general. So no, that's a smell isn't anything I'm concerned about. Alcohol markers, they may smell a little bit when you use them, but once they're dry, they're pretty odorless. All right, let's see, Mignonette. Kind of light, kind of yellow green. Whenever I buy my Copics, I try to buy them in groups of three if I can, so that I can have colors that go well together and I can have my dark, my mid and my light, you know? I mean, a pale yellow is a must for me. Okay. 
Were there any other creatures you consider illustrated that didn't make it into the awesome page? Oh, gosh. Um, you know, really any of the little tide pool creatures, but I really tried to channel, because since I grew up um, on the coast, my dad was a fisherman for 20 plus years, and my grandmother actually owned um, a tackle shop. So I spent, I spent a good portion of my childhood um, on the beach, actually. I remember, like, specifically, like, anen anemones like this, if you go up and you touch the middle, they, I mean, probably, it's probably terrifying the anemone now. But as a kid, you know, in the 80s, it was like, heck, yeah, man, let's go poke the anemones. Um, but I spent a lot of time on the coast. And so, you know, we've got uh, different parts. You know, obviously, there's not seals everywhere, but, you know, there's specific, like, towns you can go to. There's Lincoln City. There's Newport. There's, um, you know, Coos Bay, all kinds of different ones. So I tried to grab a lot of specific, like, Pacific Northwest animals. I probably could have fit in a few more seagulls. But if you see any of my illustrations that are in my Etsy store, you'll see I've got a few uh, sea animal ones. But I think I fit in most everything I like. I probably would have fit more shells, maybe more barnacles. But yeah. If I get a blank one, I would, I would like stained glass. Oh, with a crazy dinosaur scene, Deborah. I like it. A whale, possibly, but it'd have to be pretty far. It'd have to be pretty far in the back. Because this here is like more, oh, can't see it, haha. <laughs> this here, oop, there we go. This here is more like a jetty. So these waters by themselves are gonna be pretty shallow. So there would have had to been an orca back, back in the back portion of it. Um, but the funny thing is, is that where we lived, we didn't get a lot of um, whales passing. So uh, whales weren't a big thing. Honestly, one of my favorite pastimes, um, 4th of July was always really big in the town. A few of my fish, yeah. <laughs> was always really big in the town uh, that I grew up in. And on the morning of the 4th of July, they would have, or we're using uh, pale lemon, by the way, they would have sandcastle contests. And those were always super fun, followed by the dinghy races. Um, I mean, the funny thing is when you think coast, you think, oh, you're at the beach all the time. But the fact of the matter is the Pacific Northwest that ocean is cold, so there's not, you know, like umbrellas and people out on the beach all the time. At least not in the town that I was in because it was smaller. Um, but, you know, kites were a big thing. There was the good beach and the not-so-good beach. Um, the good beach had good sand. The other beach had kind of rocky sand, but it had rocks that you could, um, that you could climb and everything. So, free willy, there you go. Oh, yeah, definitely. But there's only certain times a year that you can see them. I want to say Newport and Lincoln City and Depot Bay are all really good uh, whaling uh, places to see sea whales. <laughs> Free Willy. Oh, sea cucumbers. Okay, okay, nice. Yeah, those things are a bit much. Yeah, that can be cool. I've never actually seen an orca in real life. Um, I would occasionally go on my dad's fishing boat. Um, not very often. Usually it was in the summertime. I, I couldn't, I always got seasick, so I couldn't handle it much. But I do remember um, earlier on before, because I, I could last about an hour before, you know, I'd had enough. Um, but earlier on, we were, we were headed out to sea, and we actually had a pod of dolphins swim alongside the boat, which was really cool. Um, he fished up a stingray one time, you know, and then we released it, but he filled the, um, the hold with water and we got to kind of check it out for a little bit before we, uh, released it again. Uh, but my dad did a lot of like long lining. And so in the summertime we'd have to collect, um, he had buckets of frozen, um, squid and stuff. And as a family, you know, it was a family business as a family, we would have to, our hands got so cold because the, the squid was frozen. And basically what it is, imagine these big metal tubs and there's hooks all along the side and you have to hook the uh, squid on each one and you have to have it full because then what happens is it goes on a big spool and when you get on the boat they're riding out there and they drop that whole line and then they go and reel it up and so that's what's called long lining but that was part of that was part of our summer job as a family <laughs> was helping bait the tubs is what it's called baiting tubs it was the worst job like ever so i feel like i'm gonna want to try and add a little bit more light green to kind of smooth this out a little bit but we got a crab we got a shell we got couple anemones, starfish. I definitely wanted to, the starfish, I think, turned out to be my favorite. So we're definitely going to have to, uh, I think I'll do the starfish next. But 
Yeah, Vancouver is beautiful. I love it. Yeah, Newport. I've been to Vancouver and Victoria in Canada. Uh, I went when I was like in high school. So I was like 16 time. Um, but yeah, so it's 1030 now, which means it is time for us to head out. In the meantime, first, I want to thank Evelyn. Thank you for your super chat. And the Coloring Lamp, thank you for your super chat. And also, thank you for being here to answer questions, Ethan and Christian. Thank you so much. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to illustrate this and color this and experience this wonderful, beautiful lamp. It's, I'm just, I'm so excited. It's so awesome. Um, keep an eye out on my Instagram and everywhere else for updates on this as I go along. It's going to take me a little bit to finish this. Um, but I will show you what it looks like when it's all done and it's going to be absolutely wonderful. All right. So we are going to be live again, Monday evening, 8 30 PM us central time. We're going to continue working on our Anne of green Gables page. Okay. Um, we'll also, I'll hopefully be getting that review out for those Everblend brush tip markers and everything. Um, so yeah, for now, have a good rest of your weekend, stay healthy, stay safe. And, um, yeah, see you Monday night. All right. Thank you, everyone. Bye.